And here we are, arriving at Lost Dutchman State Park. Just from the entrance station, it looks already awesome. I mean, massive mountain there and wow. Little ride around the campground. Here's my site. 57. Gorgeous views. Yeah, it seems to be pretty packed for the weekend. Memorial Day. They even have a dog park right here. <laughs> Who would have known at a state park, a dog park? So this is the bathhouse. Okay, it's older. Decent. Oh, this is very convenient. Just maybe 200 feet from my campsite. There's already a trail and it leads to the ranger station. And according to the map, you can do a loop trail out of this one. Oh. No idea what that's called, but looks weird. Well, this almost reminds me of Catalina State Park. They have benches too. And let's see what the view is from here. Well, that's interesting. It's a, a coyote representing a sundial. Or Well, that's pointing past six, which is correct. It's 6.30, so right on time. And then just like uh, at Catalina State Park, they have those concrete slabs here with footprints. In this case, a uh, javelina. So earlier there was one with a coyote and then they have several others. And now we're back at the bathhouse where I was earlier on the bicycle. And uh, the Lost Dutchman Dog Park. Not much to it, but at least they have a dog park. So we're gonna try this trail here, the siphon draw. See where that leads us. The Superstition Mountains, where they're supposed to be a long lost gold mine as the story says, a Dutchman found it, he died. Therefore, the Lost Dutchman State Park. But back in the days, they called almost everybody from Europe a Dutchman. In fact, it was a German. Beautiful morning views from up here as the sun is just starting to rise. Campground straight ahead. And even if you don't have a camper, they have cabins available now. And we walked by them, they look pretty nice. Those are the cabins. And this down there in the distance, this is supposed to be like an old Western town.
So that's the other trail we just did. Jacob's Crosscut, trail number 58. I'm here at an intersection of trails. Straight ahead is the Treasure Loop Trail number 56. And then here is the Jacob's Crosscut Trail number 58. Delta's enjoying the shade. And that's my campsite right there. going to enter Goldfield Ghost Town, which is basically right next to Lost Dutchman State Park. Here we are at Goldfield Ghost Town, 1893. And that is Goldfield Station. That is the newest attraction here, zip lining. The Superstition zip line. All right, Delta, let's go here. And here you can actually do gold panning. And this is the last dig. It smells really good here from that bakery right there. That's even the jail. And then there's that saloon. And here to the left is a museum. This is the cactus shop. This is the bordello. Right next to the church, how fitting.
And this looks like if it could even be still in use. It looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, of course, that would be cool if they allow dogs. Well, that is definitely a cool place. The typical door. It's definitely a cool place. Hello. That is lunch with a view. Oh, that's an interesting ceiling. So they allow dogs here on the patio outside. Inside only if it's a service dog. That's fine with me. Allowed to visit the outhouse twice a day. Oh, we cannot buy a t-shirt there. Pets are not allowed. Sorry, Delta. No t-shirt. Yeah, overall, I can recommend Goldfield. It's fun. It's a nice little afternoon or morning getaway from uh, the campground at Lost Dutchman because it's basically just across the street food is okay it's good you got ice cream they got all kinds of stuff not everywhere are animals allowed well it's the way it is
So today we're gonna try the Treasure Loop Trail, 2.4 miles. I believe that this is already the state park boundary right here. So the state park itself, its dimensions, it's not that big. So yeah, that's trail 56. And that's the loop here. Now let's see how that goes. We've been at this cross section yesterday because we came from over there. But this time we follow the treasure loop trail number 56. Now it's getting a little bit rugged and more steep here on trail 56, the treasure loop. But you are being rewarded with awesome views of the Superstition Mountains. Yeah, we gained quite a bit of uh, elevation already. So we came from down there. And that's the trail right here. And the view. Yeah, we made it to the top of this trail, or so, I want to believe. The last section is really steep. It's just a couple hundred feet, but it's steep. But those views, beautiful, beautiful morning. We started at shortly after five. Well, turns out I was wrong. That wasn't the top of the trail yet. The fun part is, is right here. And here you gotta really watch your step because of the loose gravel and loose rocks. But then you get rewarded with this. Well, Delta is having fun. She will take a good nap after this one before we continue on on, a, on another adventure. Oh man, and who would have known? There's a bench up here. Definitely gonna need this. Yeah, we definitely reached the highest point over there where the bench was. And from now on, uh, it's downhill, rocky. 
slippery, but this trail, number 56, treasure trail loop is well worth it. The views are spectacular. It's beautiful up here. A look back at where we came from. We were behind that rock right there. And we still have a ways to go. Well, we're back at the truck. We finished the trail. Round trip to here, the parking lot where I parked my truck, almost 2.7 miles. Excellent hike. Now it's time for breakfast. We're here on the Apache Trail. And this is called the Canyon Lake Vista. The lake is down there. Yeah, we're here at Canyon Lake, Arizona. This is a beautiful lake, uh, nice water. Uh, lots of uh, uh, water sports going on and people having fun. Not really packed or anything, but it's a beautiful place, huh, Delta? You like it too, huh? This is just a single lane bridge down there, which we're gonna cross right now. This is the Acacia Recreational Site, right at the lake. <laughs> Data really doesn't know what to do with it. Finally, she's exploring the water. <laughs> Hi, Delta. Oh, 
This is the marina. And this is just two miles away from the lake. This is Tortilla Flat. That's the Superstition Saloon. There's somebody's hanging up there. Hello. That little shack is a museum. Yeah, unfortunately, here in Tortilla Flats, none of the places, uh, indoor places, allows dogs. So uh, they only allow service animals, so there was no chance to eat anywhere, not even in an outdoor patio, or go to any of the stores, buy something. Well, it is what it is. Today is our last hike here at Lost Dutchman State Park, because today we are going to move to Dead Horse Ranch State Park in Cottonwood. So we went on Siphon Draw, trail and those are the views that we have here it's a very steep trail very 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 rocky all right let's go Well, those are the views that we are rewarded with right now. Here on Siphon Draw Trail. So let's climb up this here. It does enjoy the view. Yeah, my mountain goat is already gone. And I have to navigate around those big rocks here. And there she is. Yeah, I just met a young lady that does those trails here on a regular basis. And she said, oh no, this trail doesn't end. It goes almost all the way to the top. And I mean, the top according to the map that is 4,500 feet elevation that's uh, two times higher than where we are right now yeah we're just taking a little break here at this beautiful spot and uh, yeah it is a steep trail and it gets steeper and steeper we're not gonna do the whole trail because today we're leaving but yeah, it's, it's worth it. This park, uh, Los Dutchman State Park, is so well worth it. It's absolutely beautiful. I wonder how long it took him to build this trail. Look at this woman, she's running the trail. 
I'm huffing and puffing and she's running it. I can't believe this. Can't get over that woman. That she was running this. I mean, one wrong step. That's gonna hurt. Well, I think this is as far as we're gonna go. Beautiful here. It looks like the trail goes up there. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. But the views are beautiful. Well, let's start running back. <laughs> Just kidding. So from here on now, it's downhill, which you think it makes it easier, but you really got to watch out for some tricky sections here. So all those loose rocks. Yeah, where it starts. My mountain goat is already gone. I'm coming. She's waiting for me. All right, let's go. You like that spot, huh? Come on. Leaving this beautiful place, Lost Dutchman State Park. Oh my goodness. That was fun, well worth it can highly highly recommend it it's an awesome park lots of hiking beautiful bye bye lost dutchman <laughs> <laughs>